I've spent the last few years building configurable apps using the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. The latest release makes it easier than ever to build accessible, responsive, and performant mapping applications. We're working on building new configurable apps using the 4X series, and some of these are available in the ArcGIS Online Gallery right now. So here's an example. We have some 3D web applications that allow you to view and compare scenes. The 3D version of, or the 3D version of the web app builder is also built using the 4X API. Here we have an example that shows 3D buildings in New York. You can click on these buildings and get a pop-up with information about the building and a current image. We also have a 2D app in the gallery. This one's called the Styler. It's built using 4X. This one lets us look at items collected along a beach in the United Kingdom. Let's look at a few of the JS API capabilities that we use when we're building configurable apps. <clears throat> the widgets, like the pop-up, are responsive out of the box, meaning you need to write less code to build mobile-friendly applications. The pop-up is designed to dock at the bottom of the screen for mobile devices, making it easier to interact with that content on a phone. We also have the expand widget. You can use this if you have a widget like the legend that potentially takes up a lot of screen real estate and you want to hide it behind a button so users can easily interact with it when they want to and get it out of the way when they need to see the map. We also continue to enhance the search widget. We've added integration with the geolocation API so you can use it to find your current location. You also get access to the world geolocator so you can locate places and locations around the world. You get all this capability with just a few lines of code. So all we do is create the widget in this example and add it to the view. And we have all that capability. We've also done more work to make the widgets accessible out of the box. So the widgets are keyboard accessible. We've also added focus and blur methods where necessary. So in this little snippet of code here, we're waiting for that search pop-up to become visible. When it is, we set focus to that pop-up so that you can access it only via the keyboard. When you close the pop-up, we set focus back to the search. So let's see how that works. I'll search for a place to eat lunch. All using my keyboard, I can then tab into that pop-up and interact with the pop-up contents via the keyboard. <clears throat> In the 4X API, TypeScript is used to build widgets. So about this time last year, I started the process of learning TypeScript. And honestly, at first, I found it a little frustrating. It was taking me longer to write applications. But eventually, I realized that I was actually building better apps and that they were easier to find and fix problems earlier in the release cycle. <clears throat> Some other features I really love about TypeScript is that it makes, easy, makes it easier to use the latest language features of JavaScript, like async, await, arrow functions, and my favorite, template literals. You also get really nice code assist when you're working with um, TypeScript. So here, if we want to see how to use view.center, we get really nice information here in this pop-up window. And if we want more information, we can click Read More, and it will take us to the help topic for that. If you're interested in getting started with TypeScript, there's a great help topic in the API that talks about getting set up. Mm -hmm.